Hey guys, Aaron from East Coast Customs here. Just wanted to give you a bit of a look into the unseen side of the ECU reflashing or remapping that we do. A lot of guys are familiar with us plugging into your car and reading the file out and, and doing a custom tune on your vehicle. But for every nine cars that we can do that, there's one that we can't. And we have to actually take the ECU out and put it on our uh, specialty bench tooling so that we can read the file out of the ECU, uh, make our changes and flash it back in. Uh, this isn't something that we have to do often, but we're lucky enough that we have the proper tooling and the proper experience to be able to do it here in-house rather than have to send it away to somebody else. So uh, today I'll just give a bit of a look into how we do it um, and how we do it safely. Today's example is, is a 2013 Y61 Patrol ECU. So this is a, a ECU that's made by Bosch. Um, and today I've got it on our K-Tag or our, our Alien Tech K-Tag uh, tool. So what this does is it, uh, we can sit the ECU in a positioning frame and we use a special adapter to suit this ECU so that we can read the information straight out of it. Um, and this is obviously only in a scenario where we can't read from the, from the OBD2 port. Um, so what I've done already is I've set it up on our positioning frame and read the file out. And now I've just got all that raw data just in my software and just doing some changes um, to suit what this customer is really wanting out of the car. So there's a, a number of there's a number of different maps in the background of the ECU. In these days with a lot of late model vehicles, a lot of it is all torque based. So the ECU does a torque calculation um, and we sometimes have to go in and manipulate or correct some of that stuff so that it can make power. Uh, safely, but also effectively. So in the areas that the customers really want to make power. So this is not a this is this is not a process that not uh, that every ECU tuning shop is able to do. Uh, we're, we're lucky enough to have the proper tooling that we can do this, so that we don't have to try and outsource any of our work. We obviously try and keep as much in house as we can. So this is not a process that just applies to some of the diesel vehicles. This is this is a process that we've been known to do on some of our performance petrol stuff as well. Also like vehicles that have had the engines converted uh, and we have to put a start and run map in. So your GM LS stuff uh, and even we've done some Coyote stuff as well uh, where we've actually got to put the ECU on the bench and write that information in. So it's not just diesel stuff that we do this way. This is, this is stuff we, we do for petrol as well. If you have any questions or inquiries about any ECU reflashing, whether it be OBD2 reading or us pulling the ECU out and doing it on the bench like this one, Feel free to give us a call, uh, hit us on Facebook, Instagram, or send us an email.